tubers and trolls. Chris here with Telesplash Gaming. I've got the sleeves off. I look tanorexic. I just got back from Hawaii this morning. I got two and a half hours of sleep, but you know what doesn't ever stop? The gaming world. And when I was gone, games, the company, all in caps by the way, released the specs for their latest piece of hardware. It's the Guardian Pro XP and it looks incredible. So let's stick around and take a look and I'll tell you what I expect out of this system. Games is actually at the Consumer Electronics Show this week talking about the Guardian Pro XP and the Sentinel, which is due for release in the next couple weeks. But we have enough information and specs on it to make a pretty good assessment. And hey, it looks incredible. First things first, this thing is made for the Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, and some micro ATX computer cases. That's a first. They've never really catered to computer gaming as much. It's always been more of a console thing. You know, minus their actual standalone monitors, which you can use for anything, they've really been more of a console kind of peripheral, but now they're getting all gamers involved. What you're going to notice right off the bat is it's got a 24-inch ultra-low latency Quad HD IPS 1440p anti-glare monitor. That was a mouthful. <laughs> With that being said, IPS stands for in plane switching and really what that means it has great color and really good viewing angles now ips typically has the worst refresh rates compared to some of the other monitors but i'm pretty sure games has that base covered especially when they put ultra low latency in their title so monitor itself blows the vanguard and the sentinel out of the water with way better resolution and much larger it has a 12 watt integrated power amp which is powering 9-watt chambered speakers. So you're going to have some really good stereo speakers. It's got its amp, so that alone, again, is going to be a nice upgrade, and you're going to have some really good sound coming out of it. It also has what they call a Guardian Media Center, which is basically a spot that has a USB hub powered by your console, and it gives you three additional USB ports that are 3.0, so you can power a camera, like a webcam, lights, you can power controllers, you can charge your cell phone while you're gaming. It really is a media hub for everything while you're gaming or streaming or using this system. And being the Guardian Media Center, I think it's going to have a few more uses as well that they'll probably release this week and talk more about. So I'll kind of keep you posted in the comments below as I hear more information. It has a rear HDMI port which is really cool so that if you're gaming on your screen, you can output your monitor to a larger TV, a monitor, or whatever so that other people can watch you play, or if you're streaming, that's really handy. This is really catered to professional gamers and streamers. You can tell with everything they've put into this system that it is literally made for people that are involved in eSports. With that being such a huge thing these days, they're really catering to that, and I think that's a very smart business decision. It also has a Picatinny rail system, which is, <laughs> I had to look up Picatinny rail system because I wasn't really sure how to even pronounce it. And what you find that on is typically on guns, where you mount scopes and laser sights. So to have it in a gaming system is really unique, but it makes sense. They're catering to gamers. You need a mounting system because if you're going to be streaming with this, you need a place to mount your webcam, your lights, your microphone. Come on now. So it makes sense. So they're going to have its very own rail system for this system that's going to be made to cater again to people that are gaming and streaming. So you Twitch people, you YouTube livers, this is going to be fantastic if you're on the road. And uh, speaking of on the road, I'm on the road a lot. So with that being said, last but not least, it's TSA approved. It's got a rugged case. It's got metal hinges, which is nice because the Vanguard had plastic and I broke one. So it's a nice little, you know, small upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Now, as you can see on screen, I'm going to go over some of the specs. This is the largest case, of course. The Vanguard is the middle size case. And the Sentinel, being the newer and sleeker model, is third, and it's the smallest. Now, with that being said, the Sentinel, I believe, does not have space for your pouches. So you have to keep those external, where the Vanguard and this new system, as you can see, it has a place for your controllers and your power cables and everything. So that's really cool. This has a 24-inch 1440p uh, monitor. 
the Vanguard is a 19 inch 720 upscale to 1080 and the Sentinel is a true 1080p but it's 17 inches. So with the Sentinel and Vanguard it's really a game there on what you want to you know pay and then what is more important to you the bigger screen or the better resolution. And with that being said, the Vanguard can be found for 300 bucks all day. The Sentinel is going for 349 pre-order, and you can really find that Vanguard quite a bit cheaper, I believe, if you wait for a sale. So my biggest question is, where does this place this new Guardian? If the Sentinel is 349, the Guardian cannot be that cheap. You know it's going to be at least 400, and then we're getting the realm of that is pricey. Now, compared to like a nice gaming monitor, maybe it's not, but I mean, for the average gamer, that is a really expensive kind of peripheral to buy. So for me being on the road, will I buy it? Mm, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> to be honest, I'll probably buy it because doing YouTube and all this, it's going to be really convenient, but it might be spendy. So I don't want to go in and talk about price because I don't know what it's going to be, but if the Sentinel is 349 you can pretty much guarantee this is going to be more than that. So that's an interesting kind of a... Uh, where's that sweet spot with this system? You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you'd be willing to pay for something like this because I don't even know at this point. And then a couple questions, you know, when is the actual release date? They've said spring or early summer, but I'd like to get a hard date. And then how is the system mounted? Because you can see in the pictures, it's, it looks like it has almost like a mesh, like a metal covering, but do you like screw that in? I mean, is it easy to pop open? I'm, I'm assuming it's easy to pop open. I can't imagine it being super hardcore. If it's that inconvenient, that's going to be really a big pain to have to like unscrew it and pull your console out, especially when the Vanguard, I can, you know, use a couple pieces of Velcro, pull it out and put it back. Now, I do like the idea with that, you know, more protection instead of the Velcro, but I hope it's uh, kind of a pop the hinges and then open it up and slide it in. That's something at CES this week that I think we're going to get a little better idea of how that works. And so I will again keep you guys posted in the comments. I'll keep updating this throughout the week when I find out more information. So with that being said, guys, I could have waited a few more days and released this video, but I was really excited about it. You guys know I love my game systems. I've had a couple of them already. I've done some videos on them, and they seem to really be um, my best videos, and people are really receptive to these units. So with that being said, let me know what you think of this new Guardian Pro XP. What are you willing to pay? Are you willing to upgrade from the Vanguard? If you were going to get the Sentinel, are you going to wait for this? It's really a tough decision, especially when we don't know the price yet. So let me know. Again, guys, thanks for your support. Thanks for everything. Hit that subscribe button. We're growing. We're growing. We're growing. I appreciate every single subscription, every single like, and every single share. With that being said, keep trolling. Keep rolling. See you guys next video.